Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can, um, if you want to do writing um, as a job, you want to stay at home, do an online job, um, and get paid for it, you know, work from home so you don't have to go to 9 to 5 and you can work in your own time and uh, all the advantages that being self-employed have got, and there's thousands of people uh, that are thousands of ways to write, uh, do writing and get paid for it, to do blogs and get paid for it, to do transcription. So if you are interested in transcription or writing or blogging and getting paid for it, I'll show you a shortcut whereby instantly today, uh, let's put these away, instantly today you will be able to type, write, um, write, uh, transcribe uh, at least, well, I'll say, I'll keep it safe, and you definitely better do 100 words per minute, okay, and I'll show you how. So, what you do is you go to Drive, you get a Google Doc out, um, okay, not that one, that was my practice one. Now, on Google Docs, I don't know if you're aware of it, but go into Tools, and there's a voice typing thing, right? And that will record everything I say. So, say so you've got a, uh, you have to do a, let's put that on. Now, when you click on that, it'll start typing everything you say. Um, now, also, I'll give you another tip too, because a lot of people have told you about this before, but there's one thing they leave out, actually, and I'll go into that. One thing they leave out is spelling it, is uh, checking it for spelling for, after you've done it, check it for spelling for grammar, okay? And I'll show you a uh, tip of uh, how to uh, remedy that, okay? So you don't have to know grammar uh, or spelling or anything like that as well. So let's try this, okay. Now, I'm going to pretend that maybe I'm in, uh, on, on holiday, so you have to write an article about a holiday in Paris, okay? So let's go. So, on my holiday in Paris, we went to the Eiffel Tower, period. New sentence. Okay, um, so guys, the thing is, it's going to take you a while to get used to this until you get used to how it operates and what the instructions are. Period. New paragraph. New paragraph. Also, guys, <clears throat> obviously, the better microphone you have got, the better. So, on with our holiday in Paris. Period. New line. We went to the Eiffel Tower. And we really enjoyed ourselves. We spent $100 and went to various holiday attractions. Then we went to have a rest at the local pool. Period. New line. So, do you think this would be faster, guys, than typing out words for m per minute? Now, period, new paragraph. New paragraph, period. New paragraph. I have a reasonably slow microphone. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I have a reasonably slow computer and not a very good microphone. So, if you just invest 20 to 40 dollars on a new microphone, what it types, what you see it typing will be far better and far faster than mine because I have a fairly old computer. 
period, new line. My computer is probably about seven years old or older. So, see, there you go, guys. Um, now, like I say, I'm really, uh, you know, obviously it's made a few mistakes here, right? So, now the hint is, right, you can do a spelling check. You can go in here. It's definitely faster than, so, spelling check. No spelling suggestions. So, all my spelling is right, okay? Now, you might think grammar and etc. Um, now, obviously, it's made some mistakes, but you'll you'll have the uh, you, you know you can just change it, change it. Like we went to that's supposed to be rest. See, so I just quickly change that. It's definitely going to be faster than um, you know, typing it all up yourself. Now, if you don't know about grammar and all that, uh, I have. We'll click on this. Grammarly is active, but key features are missing. Sign up to unlock the first. Sign up, it's free. You already have an account. Okay. What you do is, you sign up to Grammarly. And... Once you've got the full Grammarly, because I've just got it, I thought that once I put it in there, I'd better show you guys, but... Um, okay, let's sign up for free and see if it will check it. Nothing like in-the-moment stuff. Um, credit for you, uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, probably can't do that at the moment, so that's okay. So I'll pause, I'll sign up, and then I'll come back. Okay, so guys... You go to Grammarly, I've got it there, if you can see there, right? Once you've downloaded it, that's what it look like. looks like. Okay, now what you do is, so you go to Grammarly, you install Grammarly, then you, you can either, um, hold on, you can either, the fastest way to do this that I've found is, uh, go into edit, I think it is, select all, do a copy, right, now you've got Grammarly here, bring Grammarly up, copy and paste here, control V, okay, and there Grammarly is telling you, Grammarly does all your, so you've got alerts there, the word sign seems to be miswritten, Well, that's what actually the word so on seems to be missing. No, that's actually wrong. This is, um, anyway, you can skip that because that's actually right. Uh, also, guys, obviously, the better microphone you've got, the better. So on with our, so on with our, add a comma. After Paris, yeah, see, it's telling you what to do here. After Paris, add a comma. So on, correct your spelling. Now, change the punctuation, which is there. See? Faster, faster, remove the redundancy. See there? So, let's have a look. So those are the five alerts that it's done. Um... So Grammarly will check all that all for you, um, and then um, you're way laughing. So going through it just quickly again, I'll just show you. Go into what is it? No file, new document. So download Grammarly or something. If you know something better that'll check your punctuation and spelling, etc. I know Word's got all that sort of stuff, uh, but I'm not, I haven't got Word. Grammarly is now beta testing for Google Docs. Okay, turn it on. Yep. Turn it on. Okay. Now, go into here. 
tools, go into tools. And let's, uh, oh, hold on. I mean, obviously, your, you know, most people's computer setup is better than mine. I've got about 40 browsers open and uh, just downloaded. Uh, now, I don't know why we can't do that. Okay, here we go. So. We are doing another test of this voice typewriting on our Google Docs and then we are going to put it into Grammarly and check it. I think what's, what's happening guys is that Grammar, I'll just show you, Grammarly Look at this. Grammarly is actually checking it as we go. <laughs> Sexy chicken. Okay, that could be a bit wrong. So, but you get you get what I mean, guys, okay? Yes, and it's telling you down here, if you see where I've got this, Grammarly's telling you the four mistakes that it's found so far. Okay? Now, what you'll definitely need to get, you know, like I say, is get a, uh, make sure your, your internet speed is good, make sure, um, that you don't have many things going in the background. And you make sure, really make sure you've got a good microphone. Period. Stop that. Now. Grammarly suggestions appears read. So this, don't forget this, guys, is their beta. Um, Chrome extension. But, like I say, you can... Obviously you're going to muck around, you know, nothing's perfect. You've got to try a little and try this and try that. Copy bring the Grammarly one up, so don't put the Chrome extension on because that's in beta stage and I don't think it's very good at this stage but uh, download the one for Windows, put that there as soon as this pops up okay what we need is a new one obviously So, as soon as we can get a new, sorry guys, my computer's, new document, there we go. Extraordinary slow today, which doesn't make for a good video, but you get the gist of it. I'm sure, I'm, I can guarantee you that when you try this, you'll get a much better result. I'm doing the best with what I've got. So, see, now look, more Grammy knows about the context of rather more colors. Tell the story, okay, inform. So, let's see. Press on the inform there. Audience, general, knowledgeable, uh, general, 
style, uh, formal, and uh, emotion. You can even pick what sort of um, emotion there. Put mild, domain, won't worry about that, done. Okay, so there you go. Correct your spelling. Grammarly, change the capitalization. Grammarly, change the capitalization. Add the particle. Spelling, let's have a look. The word typewriting seems to be mis miswritten. Consider replacing it. Okay, yep. So, see, see, it shows you that's pretty good. So, I didn't even know that. Typewriting is supposed to be one word. News to me. Grimly. What's wrong now? It appears that the word grimly may be a proper noun in the context. Consider capitalizing the word. Okay. Okay, well that's true, yeah, yeah, because Grammarly is a noun. Jeez, it doesn't miss much. Okay. So there you go, guys. It tells you, you know. And this is all you have to do, really, is just check the grammar, go for this, and you're done. Solved all this, and that should be good to go. And of course, you know, you have to uh, check, make sure that you... Uh, in most cases, you, you'll probably be copying something, or, you know, if you're listening to a transcript of something, or you're, um, even if you're making a story up, you'll know what the story uh, m means, what you want to say, so just do it as you go, so, so like this, you know, uh, you know, you can cross out that as you go, while it's on Google Docs, um, but, uh, you know, I'm giving you something to work with and you're going to have to play around with it a bit more. Cheers guys.